Hi, uh, this is John Dark Arps here with another video tutorial. This time I am going to be directly responding to a message that was sent to me by a guy called Nando Cesar from uh, Queensland, Australia. This is with to do with machine and integrating machine into logic and communicating via MIDI between the two of them. So he asks, do you think it's possible to have a drum kit on group A, for example, and within this kit make a sound, for example a chord, or just any sound, I think he means, and pitch it within the same MIDI channel. Um, meaning, I think, use, use from sending MIDI from one MIDI channel, can, can we control the pitch of this one sound that is on one pad in one group in Machine? Uh, he says, because it looks like it is possible um, to right-click on any given sound and select the way it relates to the piano roll in Logic. This is so I can get more sounds and instruments um, out of the one machine instance. Yeah, so I understand what you're asking. Um, and question two, leading on from that, um, every time I drag patterns from machine into Logic, into the arrangement, um, it appears, a, uh, it creates a new multi-instrument icon, or just creates a new multi-instrument in the environment. How do I create a machine environment so it so that doesn't happen anymore? So you don't want that to happen. So um, I have looked into this, and um, I have uh, an answer for you. So I have uh, created a, uh, a a blank uh, project in Logic, and I've created one MIDI uh, one instrument channel, and I've loaded machine, and here it is, and I've just loaded up the Martin Roth new style kit. Um, which has a pattern just giving us something to work with. And this is what it sounds like. So trancy. Uh, so um, question one is you want to be able to control one of the particular pads, uh, one of the particular sounds, one of the 16 sounds um, in this group, in this, uh, in, in this patch. So let's say we want to control this sound, the bass E flat one Roth sound, okay? There's already some of that pitching going on in the pattern, but I'm just gonna show you how to, um, I'm just gonna show you how to do that with a sound that that hasn't happened to in this in this pattern already. So this is sound 15, bass E flat one Roth. And if you control click on it, and you choose the sound MIDI settings, this is where you'll be able to tell a machine to listen to a different MIDI channel um, so that you can trigger that particular sound on a different MIDI channel. So the first thing you do is you click the enable button uh, and then you select which MIDI channel you want this sound to respond to. So because this is sound number 15, I'm going to choose MIDI channel number 15. The low note, high note, and root note effectively dictate um, the span uh, of your MIDI keyboard and how it affects the, uh, the pitch of the sound um, that you will be playing back best to just leave these settings as they are at default for now. Just click OK. So now that we've done that, we've set this sound up to be ready to receive uh, MIDI notes on channel 15. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the environment. There's actually two ways of doing this, but I'm going to do it in a more of an old school kind of way. I'm going to go into the environment by uh, pressing Command 8, uh, and then I am going to go New Multi Instrument. I'm going to drag this thing down next to my machine channel. Um, now, the multi-instrument is basically an object which allows you to root um, up to 16 MIDI um, channels into another stage in the, um, in the chain, in the MIDI signal chain. All we're going to do is we're going to wire this thing into instrument 1, which is where our machine lives. And when I do this, it will ask, um, do you want to remove the channel's port setting? Yes, click remove. So that basically means that you are removing the output, the, the, the standard output of what this instrument is, uh, and you're replacing it with the output of the instrument one. Um, the next thing you need to do is you need to engage on this, this instrument here which channels you want to have enabled. Um, I'm just going to engage the first four and then channel 15. When we select its channel in the arrangement, you'll see you'll see how that works and you'll see that working. Um, so I'm going to close this window here, and now I'm just going to double click in the blank space under the last track, the last channel in the arrangement, and Control click on that track to reassign it to the multi instrument that we just created, uh, and then which channel. Um, and in, in the case of that bass sound, we want to 
we want to use channel 15 because we've set it up to receive on channel 15. So we're going to click this. And then, now that I'm making sure that this uh, channel is selected, my MIDI keyboard now plays um, just that sound, uh, but across the entire span of my MIDI keyboard, all the way up to the top. So I think that pretty much answers that portion of your question. Um, and the second part of your question deals with uh, deals with dragging patterns from machine into the arrangement in Logic. And there are indeed a, a, a number of different options that are presented to you when you try and do this. So. I, as I understand it, your question, you're basically saying you want, um, when you drag this, uh, this pattern into the arrangement, you don't want um, uh, Logic to create a series of, of new channels for each of these sounds. You just want all of these different MIDI notes that are happening in this pattern, all of these, all of these notes here. Um, oh, there's not much going on in this. Um, you want these... Uh, in one MIDI object and responding to different MIDI notes and so I will show you how to do that. Um, so what you do is the little drop down um, arrow here gives you a host of uh, options as you've seen um, and you want to go into sound MIDI batch setup and what this does is um, well this is where you can select what how you want um, the machine to behave when you try and export a pattern. Um, sounds to MIDI channels will, as it says, it will create a, a separate MIDI channel for every one of the sounds that are in this pattern. And in this case, there are 16 sounds. So you're going to get 16 different MIDI channels, MIDI instruments, um, one for each of those sounds. You don't want that. You want sounds to MIDI notes. Um, this will put all of these sounds um, and uh, into one MIDI object on different MIDI notes. So that's the option that you want. And here MIDI channel just allows you to choose which MIDI channel is associated with that one MIDI object that is, is exported. It doesn't, typically it's not really gonna matter. Um, so just choose channel one. Root note will dictate where in the, um, in the scale on the, on, the, on the piano roll, the first note, in this, case, in, in this case, the kick drum on sound one is gonna be. So sound one, the kick drum, is gonna appear on C3. So click apply, because you've selected sounds to MIDI notes. Click apply. Now again in this dropdown, you need to make sure that the pattern drag mode is set to MIDI and not audio. If it's set to audio and you drag this pattern into your arrangement, it will bounce down, it'll mix down the sounds in that pattern as a, a stereo wave or a file. Um, you may want to work that way in different scenarios, but I understand that in this scenario you want to export the MIDI from your pattern, so make sure that that is selected, which it is. Uh, now that you have those two options selected, it really is as simple as clicking and holding on this little target receptacle here and you'll see a little uh, box with the name of the pattern comes up and you can just drag it into your arrangement like that. And just making sure that sound 16 is unmuted, um, I will now, what will I do? I'll select scene two so no pattern is playing and I'll hit play in my sequencer and it is indeed playing back sending the MIDI information into machine. See, I've muted the object, it's not playing anymore. So that's proof. It's sending the MIDI back to machine and it's playing it back. So, uh, I think that answers everything and I hope you found this uh, useful and thanks for watching.